Hey gang, Ross Brand here for LivestreamUniverse.com. We have a new version of Wirecast available, Wirecast 12, and there's some really exciting new features to this that uh, I think uh, marketers and video creators and, and people who are looking to add some features that are really cool and really effective and don't require uh, a major learning curve uh, so let's talk about some of them. Uh, let, let's hit the highlights. Uh, number one, you can add a QR code to your broadcast now. Uh, and, and why is that important? Well, in the past, when you're live streaming, you would uh, give out a link and you would hope that, uh, you know, you would hope that people would remember it or they would write it down or whatever. Uh, and uh, if they're really interested, then they have to leave the broadcast. Now you can add a QR code. Uh, like a little image of a QR code uh, to the screen of your live broadcast and uh, users just take their phone, uh, hover over it if they have an, an app that they use uh, for scanning QR codes or if their native camera app is able to do that, uh, it takes them right on their phone to the link uh, that you've put into the QR code. So that that is very exciting. It makes it very easy to uh, give out Links, like I said, you you want to link to a product, you want to link to a service, you want to link to your your podcast or your website or what have you. Um, now people don't have to leave the broadcast or try and remember uh, what it is. They just uh, hover their phone's camera or their phone's uh, QR code app that they may have downloaded right over uh, the QR code on the screen, and it takes them right into. Uh, that web link right in a browser in their phone. So that's number one, the QR code. Another exciting uh, addition is uh, live polls in Facebook Live. Uh, you can easily create polls right within Wirecast 12, and those will show up on the screen in, uh, in Facebook Live. So that increases interactivity uh, with users. It's uh, a great way to uh, get users involved. They can click right on their screen and uh, select amongst uh, different options. And it can be a form of discussion or engagement. Uh, but anyway, it's very easy to create those polls that will be live on your video uh, and are interactive right uh, on Facebook, right for your audience there. So another uh, another major addition is Facebook Live polls. And then the other the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Stinger transitions. So Wirecast has its included uh, transitions when you go from one shot to the next. But now you can add a, a video clip uh, that you can use a couple of seconds of uh, something with motion or whatever. And it's just a cool effect that goes with your transition in between shots. And uh, you can now add that. It's very easy. There's a stock media library within Wirecast uh, that if you have that, that option, uh, you can easily add it. But you can create your own. You can buy one. Uh, it's, it makes it very easy. I always wondered how people do that kind of stuff. Now I know that there is a way to do it very easily in Wirecast. I really don't have to worry about learning any of that right now. So, uh, that's Wirecast 12 in a nutshell. Also, if you use Rendezvous in Wirecast, which allows you to send out a link uh, to potential guests, and they can uh, click that link and come into the broadcast. You now have the ability to choose what audio sources that they hear in Rendezvous. So it's an increased, uh, enhanced audio mixing capability uh, for those uh, old school podcasters or radio people or uh, TV folks. Uh, it, it essentially, you can create the mix minus, which means you're sending everything to the guest except their own voice. So they're not hearing that, uh, hearing themselves back in their ear. They're just hearing everything else in the broadcast. Uh, but you can also choose other sources to send or not to send them. So if you have a music bed or you have some sounders or whatever, and you, you don't want to confuse your guest or you, you just want your guest to hear your voice or whatever, you can choose which sources you send uh, to your guests. So that's an enhanced uh, mixing capability. Another thing worth, worth mentioning is uh, they brought back the mobile uh, iOS Wi-Fi 
uh, integration with uh, Wirecast Go. So basically, if you have uh, a mobile device, an iOS device on the same Wi-Fi network as uh, you're using your Wirecast computer, um, you can now bring in uh, unlimited number. I believe it's unlimited, but it's certainly uh, <laughs> plenty of uh, iOS uh, mobile devices in as uh, additional feeds into your uh, into your productions. Uh, if you'd like a free trial of Wirecast and also uh, ScreenFlow, which is a great uh, editing and screencasting, screen recording software, uh, you can get free trials by going to LivestreamUniverse.com slash resources. Click on the icons for Wirecast or ScreenFlow. You can get a 30-day trial uh, for free. Check out Wirecast 12 for yourself. You can also check out ScreenFlow 8. And uh, again, it's uh, LivestreamUniverse.com slash resources.